The revival of the Florida State Guard is now a step closer to happening. News 6 First uncovered that Governor DeSantis was asking for $98 million to reestablish Florida's military arm. So today, the House Appropriations Committee approved a measure that would help pay for it, but not everybody was on board. News 6's Emily McLeod has the story. Funding for the revival of the Florida State Guard is one step closer to becoming a reality. By your vote, the bill passes. State representatives on the House Appropriations Committee voting the bill through on Tuesday. Democratic Governor State Representative Fentrice Driscoll voting no and questioning whether or not funding would be better spent on expanding existing state agencies like the FDLE. Think about us trying to find really good talent that has a, tremendous skills, tremendous education um, in, in cybersecurity. It's... It, for, I mean, you got to pay them a quarter million dollars a year. This is a way that we can get a volunteer that'd be willing to lend their talents, their knowledge, skills, and abilities to the state of Florida. Representative Driscoll expressing concern over filling critical state positions with part-time state guard volunteers. I want to make sure that these these folks, and I, I understand they may come with prior experience, et cetera, but it sounds like we're trying to fulfill very important state functions, but almost do it on the cheap. And I'm not so good. I'm not so sure that that's the, the right policy decision for the legislature to make uh, with respect to this. However, some Republican representatives feel Florida should join the 22 other states who already have their own state guards. And if any state in America needs to harness its um, human capital, volunteers, law enforcement officers, other folks, retirees who are willing to sacrifice of themselves and run towards an emergency and not away from it, it should be the state of Florida. Representative Gia Lombardo says they will cap the number of guardsmen at 1,500. If the bill passes, the Florida State Guard could be active by July 1st. In Orlando, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.